Hey, what is up guys, and I'm going to be showing you today how to do Colosseum Alvita. And the team we're going to be using is Double Log Luffy with uh, Doflamingo, Strong World Zoro, Gladius, and Mihawk. Now, this team, um, you can do Double Gear 3. Uh, it's not completely free to play, I apologize for that, but Gladius, uh, you can replace it with Kizaru. All you really need is a character that can get you a quick orb because you're going to be needing it for the mini boss in the Alvita Colosseum. And, um, uh, this Colosseum isn't very difficult, it's just a little tricky. You just got to pick the right units. And, uh, unfortunately, I don't really have cooldowns on Gladius or Strong World Zoro, so I have to stall about an extra turn here or there. Uh, it's no big deal. If you can get a meat orb and heal back up, then you can clear it pretty easily. You want to get a lot of Luffy with a couple of skill ups. That would be a special. Right, what do we need again? I don't believe we need uh, any bind or despair. I might be wrong. I'm trying to think right now. Do we need any bind? Just to be safe, we're going to get somebody with a special. A high special and has bind. Level 3 should be good enough. Okay, Colosseum Alvita. The mini boss is Beppo. If you don't know who Beppo is, Beppo is the uh, polar bear that is in Trafalgar Law's pirate crew. Um, what he does is he preemptively locks all sign ink units for 13 turns. So if you're thinking about bringing Golden Pound or Nightmare Luffy or Rayleigh, don't do that because you're just going to set yourself up for failure. And under 50%, he increases his attack to 12,000 and you really don't want to take that hit if you're going to be stalling like I'm going to be stalling here. So you need to take a team that's going to be able to clear him with you tanking at least one hit. Uh, that's what Gladius is for and Mihawk. So after you tank that first hit, you just hit him with Mihawk special, then use Gladius special, get the orb, then burst him down. Um, Beeple has 2 million HP. And that's not terribly difficult with a long Luffy team. If you pick a gear 3 team, you can also clear this as well. But uh, long Luffy is just much more convenient for me because the chain is a lot easier. Now uh, see, we got a meat orb here. So on this first stage, we're going to tank one hit. Not that much. I can look for another meat orb. Didn't get one. It's no big deal. At this stage, what we're gonna do is. Yeah, this is what we were needing the lock for, just in case we ran into these guys. Uh, sometimes the stages change due to random number generator, and the cooldowns are different. But here we can get four turns of stalling off because the uh, the lady with the machine gun has a four turn cooldown, so we don't have to let any of these guys in the back live. So we're just gonna clear out like so. Oh, 
Look at that, we even have an extra meat hook to spare. These father are so weak that you don't even really need to do the log with your chain to kill them. Yeah, just regular attacks will be good enough to get rid of them. The thing I'm trying to be careful with is that uh, sometimes when I'm recording, the app does cause me to lag a little bit. I might miss the timing. So I'm trying to be as careful as I can. I would say the best part about Colosseum is that every time you go to a mini boss and the actual boss, there is a, a preemptive turn because they're going to be talking or doing a special. And because of that, you can actually get an extra turn out of stalling so you won't be in a bind if you need to stall a specific number of turns. And the mini boss and the boss will always have a preemptive. So you can think of that as like two extra turns, like say you have golden pound on a two turn and you're going into the next room. Once you leave that room, that will be one turn gone and then preemptive will happen. And then that will be essentially two turns that pass and your golden pound will be ready. So here, what we're just gonna do is we're gonna hit Beepo. We're not gonna bring him under 50% just to be safe. And then after that, we're gonna burst him on the next turn after he attacks. thousand damage oh we even got an orb so with that orb that means that if we hit all our perfects we're gonna push them under 50 percent we don't want that we could tank that hit but we just don't want to do that just to be safe oh push them under 50 god damn it that's cool that's cool, we can just burst here because our specials will be ready by the time we get to the next room. Oh! Oh, I can't believe I just messed up that chain. That was terrible. This is pretty good though. Ooh! That's what I mean when I say sometimes that the game lags a little bit. Now here, what we're going to be using is Log Luffy to clear all the fodder in the back. See, Alvita has a 15 hit combo barrier. Uh, I would say bring Nightmare Luffy, but you can't because of Beepo locking inside units for 13 turns so you she only has 1 million health so with a good burst you can take her down pretty quickly so it's not that big a concern that's why you want to save Doflamingo for this turn and not use it on Beepo and then pretty much after that the rest is just straightforward so what we're going to do is going to lose the log with you stuff in here Here's both of go. Swap the orbs. 
and you strong words are to give me hot that last match in words. I use Sunny to get the combo barrier down by one hit and we use Black Luffy again to get that down. Now all we have to do is <laughs> make sure we hit all of our perfects this time and we got this in the back. See? Didn't even need to use Doflamingo. Pretty simple raid with the right units. Uh, I recommend bringing Strong World Zero. That way you get three orbs. You don't really have to bring three quick characters. I mean, uh, dex characters. You can bring two quick, one deck. Uh, two quick, two decks. Sorry. If you don't feel comfortable with uh, doing this kind of team, uh, you can check out uh, some other videos online. You'll be able to find out. Um, what I wanted to say that I didn't get a chance to say that I'm just remembering now is uh, Alvita under 50% will increase her defense by a little bit, not that much. And then under 20%, I think she increases her attack to like 20,000 or something. You, you don't want to take that hit. So that's pretty much Alvita Coliseum in a nutshell. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, it's not that difficult. Just you need the right units to be able to get it done. And thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. God bless, guys.